Your girl is moving to... Welcome to episode four of my cutting series. I'm filming a real and raw moment right now because I just got done doing cardio with my brother. I just realized I personally don't like cutting. I'm just not for cardio. I was doing three bike sessions, but then one day the bike was not open, so I had to go on a treadmill. The treadmill is way more harder than the bike, and I actually burned more calories on the treadmill because I guess I wasn't going as hard in the bike as I thought. I'm gonna start switching it to the treadmill, but I could only last 15 minutes. Like I was supposed to do 20 minutes like this whole entire week, and I'm not gonna lie, I only did 15 minutes and that was still brutal on its own a lot of people are asking how long I plan to do the cut and honestly I might only do eight weeks because it's just been super hard for me and I'm not sure if I want it enough to be able to go that far I honestly enjoy gaining weight and kind of just eating clean but then also eating what I want like maybe twice a week or so restricting myself this much is just not something personally for me if I was gaining more weight and I was actually like really overweight then I would probably continue with the cut longer I feel like death I look like that, but let me tell y'all something. I have some big news and I'm actually moving. I'm not gonna tell you guys where yet, but I am moving. It's gonna be hard for me to stick to the cut next week. This whole entire weekend I'm gonna be packing and then Tuesday morning is when I'm gonna be leaving. I'm driving all the way up there. It's gonna be really hard for me to really film and follow my diet. And I wanna be able to enjoy some things and have fun with my family because I'm not gonna see them for a while once I move. Today is Sunday. I'm about to go get my oil changed with my dad because we're doing a long trip. He's actually coming with me to drive my car with me. It's many, many hours away. I'm gonna be moving Tuesday morning and today is Sunday. I haven't packed anything yet, but we're gonna be doing an oil change. And then when I get home, I'm just gonna be decluttering, getting rid of things. And then I'm actually gonna start packing some things. I'm mainly gonna pack everything on Monday and put everything in my car. Since this is a cutting series, I wanna try to keep it all cutting related and not too much of like a lifestyle kind of everyday vlog. I wanted to share something with you guys. I'm about to go to my dad's house. I'm actually at my mom's right now. Don't want to end up eating something unhealthy that's at his house. So I always make sure when I'm going somewhere else, I think for myself in advance. When you have goals, you can't just go to someone's house and eat crappy food. Make sure that you guys cook in advance. I brought my food scale. I have my ground beef right here, the rice, the shake, and then I have my scale because I want to be able to have lunch while I'm over there because I'm going to be over there for a while. I want to have my scale so I make sure that I'm eating the exact amount that I need to be eating. So you guys should definitely do this. It's not that hard. Just think for yourself in advance for literally five minutes. It doesn't take long to just take your food, put it in containers, bring everything you think you're going to need, and then just put it in a bag and go. Don't kill me. can barely see out here, but we're having a hard time doing it because my car is so low. Ben and his little friends were able to actually get my car up, so finally we can do the oil change. Honestly, we should have just went somewhere to make it easier, but I'm just happy my car's up now. So, this is the oil filter. Could you get a new filter? Yeah. Okay, so this well, it's still Sunday night. I got a lopsided bun on right now. Me and my brother are actually going through my room because, like I said, I'm moving. So I'm actually going through everything I have. I have so much sour strips. It's insane. Like, some of them are probably stale. And I literally still have Christmas candy. But I'm trying to just declutter right now. I'm not going to pack too many things just yet. I'm probably going to do most of the packing tomorrow. And then the girl's leaving Tuesday morning very, very early. Let's see what I can get done tonight. Time really flew. It's already 12.45. We've gotten rid of so many things. I need to get rid of those pieces of shits. My room is an absolute mess right now. I'm going to show you guys so far what I'm bringing. This is the stuff that I actually am bringing. I have a shit ton of shoes. I'm honestly going to use all of those. And my ring light. I have my marker board and just some special things in there. Got my salt lamp, my yoga mat, and then I have my crystals and a bunch of like candles in there and stuff. And then I have my blow up mattress. I also have my marker board, so this is my monthly one, and then that's weekly, and then I have a board that's like completely blank where I just write my month goals. Luckily, I'm going out of state. I'm buying all new furniture and everything. I don't have to bring too much stuff. All I'm really bringing that's big is my ring light and my coffee table. Everything else is basically just clothes and a few other small things. Not too much packing. It's more of me just decluttering stuff in my room and getting rid of things, giving it to my siblings, or just leaving it behind because this is my mom's house, so I can just leave it here. This is my last look. Right now it's Monday night, and I finally just got done packing everything and bringing it in the car. I'm leaving all the stuff. I live in my mom's house. I was actually living in Orlando for three years when I went to UCF. And then I moved down to my hometown, Palm Bay, for two months. And now I'm already moving, so everything in here is just going to stay. I have a few more things to bring in the car, but other than that, this is my last look at this house. Right now, my brother is actually helping me put everything in my car. I have a Subi that's four doors, so honestly, I have so much space, and my trunk is very spacious. 
literally everything's fitting and by the way guys i'm not showing myself because right now i look ratchet like i've been packing all day didn't take a shower so we ain't gonna look at me i'll show you guys me tomorrow today is tuesday i already drove six hours that's actually the longest i ever drove and right now we're in south carolina i'm here with my brother he last minute wanted to call me he's pumping my gas right now i already drove six hours so now my dad's gonna be driving six hours and let me tell y'all where I'm moving. Your girl is moving to Connecticut. I know, it's a weird state and so random for me to go there, but it's only one hour away from New York City. My boyfriend got a job offer. I was like, you know what? I want a big change in my life and I don't want to stick in the same place that I am right now. So I just want to experience living somewhere else. So I'm super excited. I know it's a random ass state and I never thought I would be living in the North, but here we are, six more hours. What? And then I'm going to be at a hotel at 9 p.m. And then tomorrow we're driving four hours and then we're going to be moving in. We out here and we're actually almost in Virginia. We're literally like right on the edge, probably like a few more minutes. We just stopped to get some gas. Today is Wednesday, it's moving day. I'm super excited to actually see the apartment in person. Right now, I believe we're in Maryland. All we have to do is go through Philadelphia, New Jersey, New York City, and then I'm finally gonna be in Connecticut. I'm super excited to see how the apartment looks in person. I've seen them in pictures, but it's not the same when you actually go in person and see the place for yourself. Super, super stoked. We will be there in about three hours and 30 minutes. I just can't wait to get out of the car because I've been in the car for so long. This trip was actually 16 hours total. We did 12 hours yesterday and today has been like six hours. So I'm just ready for it to be done and to finally be moved into my new place. So we're entering New York City on the George Washington Bridge and it's already a shit show just like I thought it was gonna be. New York City. Someone told me though, in Connecticut, like they actually do have a car scene. I just yeah. gotta look into it. I tried looking it up on Instagram though, and I didn't see anything. It's probably a bunch of Subarus. I'm sure they, I'm sure they all have their, 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 their seat. They got money, if they got money out here. I know. I just don't know what kind of cars. Look at that far can. Today is Thursday, I'm finally moved into my place. As you guys can see, this is my apartment. It's honestly way bigger than I thought it was gonna be and I have a really nice balcony. I'm thinking of maybe doing a separate video where I do a full on tour and I'm just gonna wait till I have everything in the house. On Instagram, I posted a picture and I asked you guys to guess where I was moving and it's just so funny that so many people guessed Texas or Cali. That's honestly where most fitness influencers move. Let me tell you guys, this happened so quick. I had no idea I was moving anytime soon. Like I said before in another clip, I think, I was living in Orlando for three years for UCF and I grew up in Palm Bay, Florida. So recently I've been living in Palm Bay, Florida for about three months with my mom just to save money and wait until me and my boyfriend get our own place. And he got a job offer, but it was in Connecticut. And I was like, you know what? I obviously, I wanna live in Florida forever because Florida has no restrictions and it's just absolutely amazing. I love Florida and I don't wanna deal with the snow and stuff, which now I have to. He got a job offer in Connecticut. I was like, you know what? I thrive off a of change. And I just want to experience living somewhere else. And right now is the perfect time for me in my life because your girl got no obligations. I work from home, so I can honestly work from anywhere. And I just want to experience living in the North. I have family in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I actually was born in Pennsylvania. And when I was six years old, I moved to Florida. So I'm kind of from up here, not from Connecticut per se, but I am from Pennsylvania and I know New Jersey and everything. My apartment is literally so close to New York City. All I have to do is take a train ride and I'll be in New York City in one hour and it goes straight into the city. I'm super excited. So far, Connecticut, when I went to Walmart, they're charging you for bags and there's not one person working. Like the whole thing is self-checkout. I haven't checked out the other stores yet, but that kind of made me pissed. I'm like, damn, like, even someone there was like making small talk with me. He was like, you're moving here from Florida? And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a fun experience. I'll make the best of it. I'm not a negative person And I know a lot of people are gonna say some shit because I'm moving to Connecticut from Florida when usually it should be the opposite But I'm just gonna make the most of it just like I do for everything else and you never know everything happens for a reason So maybe I'm meant to be here for a year or so just to network and get some experiences I'm right next to New York City So you never know what I'm gonna be doing out there and who I'm gonna meet I think I might end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching my little trip and my move I'm sorry. I didn't film too much stuff related to the cut, but it's very hard to do that when I'm 
literally moving across the damn country. I haven't worked out in days and I noticed that I'm getting super flabby and I'm not too happy about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna work out soon. I'm gonna close out the video here. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.